the argument is called the simulation argument. And he argues that uh, we are all very likely not, to, not living in a real universe, but living in a simulated universe. Uh, and we are being simulated on the hard drives of computers of the future. Uh, now he gets there with a few simple steps. You, uh, you simply have to acknowledge that consciousness is at bottom the result of information processing at the level of the brain and there's nothing magical about brains. It could be information processing in a computer of, uh, of the future. Uh, most scientists think, that, think that's true. They don't think there's anything magical about the wet stuff in our heads uh, and that consciousness is at some point uh, going to be instantiated in computers. Uh, then you simply have to grant that humans of the future will run simulations of the past in the way that we run simulations, uh, sims, games, and, um, and then there's just one short move that, that simulated universes, by, almost by definition, will outnumber real universes. And therefore we are a lot more likely to be among the simulated ancestors than the real ancestors. Now again, this is this, everyone acknowledges it seems a little crazy, but, there's, but the assumptions that you have to you take, take on board are not, not so weak. Um, and I would add to this uh, the somewhat disconcerting idea that if in fact we are running as a simulation on a computer of the future, uh, this computer could have been built by Mormons or Scientologists who would want to simulate the truth of their religion. Uh, and therefore, all religions could be true in this simulated universe, and we could expect to see Jesus coming back in, in clouds of glory and moving to Missouri as the, as the uh, Mormons expect. Uh, so now all of that sounds completely crazy, but it is not as crazy as the, the version of the afterlife that is really on offer traditionally.